Okay, so welcome back. <laughs> if you were able to join us for our morning service, uh, we appreciate it. If you're able to join back, connect back with us for our segment of After Church, where we come to discuss what we have heard, what we have learned, and also how to apply that word to our lives um, as we go about our daily living from day to day. How does that scripture come to life for you? So, and this morning, Pastor um, talked about um, moving forward and not looking back. And um, from this, based upon the scripture, um, Genesis chapter 19, um, verses 1 through 19, but mainly um, looking at verse 26, where Lot's wife um, decided to look back. He made a decision to look back. And, you know, as, as Pastor was speaking about that, when I saw Scripture 26, the question that came to my mind is, what was she looking back for? <laughs> and that makes me ask myself, <clears throat> when God is um, moving me forward in my life, mm -hmm. what am I looking What am I looking back for? Mm -hmm. Why? Amen. Why am I looking back? What am I looking at? Um, or what is it that I'm trying to hold on to? So those were some questions that I asked myself. Wow. And, you know, just to not only um, take it back on that, but, um, you know, the thing about it is that, I, and, you know, out of all the years, we've always went in from one year. Take, for instance, 2010, 2011, 2011, 12. 2013, 14, we keep going from one year into the other end. But this year has been a year as we move forward to go into other years. And um, we truly believe that the blessing of the Lord, as Deuteronomy 8 and 18, the blessing of the Lord, it makes us rich and add us no sorrow. And um, a lot has happened. And we've experienced a lot. But through it all, um, we got the, you know, it's like a scale, way to scale the good and the bad. And like you said, the ugly <laughs> and the thing that happened along the way um, and in between. But st still through it all, we're thankful and grateful, even as we look at, um, you know, as far as how we're still navigating through this. And, I, and my thing is I'm thankful because God has allowed us to navigate it through it with the word of God. And this is where, um, as we look at what we talked about earlier, you know, just, you know, Lot's wife. But the thing about it, God has given us so many examples in the Bible to keep moving forward, trust in him, and don't look back at those things. Amen? And, you know, again, when, when, you, when I hear that topic, <laughs> uh, one thing, another thing that I heard, too, or I was reminded of mm -hmm. what I'd heard before was that with the, even with a car, you can't go forward and backwards <laughs> at the same time. I don't remember where I heard oh. that, but I know some preacher said <laughs> Tear that. that transmission up. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. But it's impossible. It's really, it's impossible to do. I mean, when you, yeah, when you think about it, if you try to do that as the car is moving forward, mm -hmm. how can you get into the reverse gear you that can't. quickly Wow. without, look, Unless you come to a complete stop, mm -hmm. then you can change the gear of yeah. that car. Because yeah. if you're trying to do it as you're moving, tear it up. There's a lot of damage. But just think about the damage that you would do to your own life, mm -hmm. to you, in in your own situations in your life if you're trying to do that. Because there's no way. It's mm. extremely. It's just unimaginable. Unimaginable. Because mm. I mean, how is it possible? To go forward and backward at the same time, because if you're trying, look, if you're trying to go forward, if you say you're going forward and you're trying to move backwards, and you're, you don't, you may not even realize what a hindrance it is mm -hmm. to your life, because if you're saying you're moving forward, but if you're constantly looking backwards, you're hung up in the past, mm -hmm. you're holding on to the past, and um, you may see some movement, mm -hmm. but it's very little movement if you're constantly holding on yes. um yeah wow. it, it just 
gave me a wake up call. I mean, as I'm talking here, it's reminding me of the hang up that I'm holding on to. Mm-hmm. Um, how I have put, and it's me, I have put the Facebook live on hold, the, the, the segment that I was doing with Aunt Corey. Mm-hmm. I've put that on hold, and it's my hang up because mm-hmm. I can't, it, I find it too hard to do it without her. But then I, that that's my hang up. I'm, I'm holding myself up. Mm-hmm. I'm holding, I may be holding someone else's that's life. That's what I was getting too. ready to say. Not just um, you. Yeah, because it's not about me. Exactly. And it's not, and it's Amen. not about Aunt Corrine. Amen. But it was what God allowed us to do together. So, um, that mm-hmm. was just an eye opener to me just now as I'm talking. So, um, so it just makes me think of some things that I really need to stop procrastinating with. Um, things that I need to get forward and move because I don't, there's not much move. There could be greater movement. There could be greater progress. Deliverance. If I yes. let go of my past, let go mm-hmm. of that, that, that very thing that I'm holding on to. Mm-hmm. You know, um, this is where, um, you know, one of the kingdom keys, uh, that we were taught is we must let go in order to go further. Mm-hmm. And the thing is, and, uh, and a lot of time, like you said, not just you, but I speak of myself also, we got to, um, look at the things that, God wants for us, like I said earlier, um, people come into your life to make two things, two things. They come, some come in to stay, some come in to leave. But one of the things is the Lord was showing me two things is they come to make a deposit and they come to make a withdrawal, either or. But I'm reminded of even um, how God used Abraham to, he was a such a blessing to Lot. That even though it was his nephew, but still yet, God has given us that same grace to be a blessing to family members, whether it's your sister, whether it's your brother, whether it's your niece, your nephew, your cousin, your aunt, your uncle, your enemy, Pookie, Ray, Ray, it don't matter who it is. We still have to pray for other people and be a blessing to them. Amen. So what we're reminded of. And I, and I love, I was telling an individual just this week, I said, you know, there's so many different great books out there. There's so many different great books out there, Pastor Jackie. There's so many. But the thing is, it, it, um, you know, when you when you read these other books, yeah, you get excited and we're thankful for it, different authors and things like that. Um, you know, you, you get it, it uh, encourage you and motivate you. I don't need the book to encourage me. I don't even need the book to motivate me. I need that holy Bible to inspire me. These scriptures inspire me. It 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 make me take a look at myself in the mirror, wake up some thing that I should have been doing that I have not been doing. And the thing about it is that I'm just thankful because this is this is the good book, the holy Bible. Um it it really when you look in the mirror, it really tells you, uh, it really speaks volume and it speaks life. And I thank God for his word. Amen. Now, when you said, you said something earlier about how people come in, in your life for two reasons, is mm-hmm. that how you put it? For the, either to give a, bring a deposit or Make to get a withdrawal. withdrawal. So, you know, I, I've heard that before. Now, it seems to me now I could be wrong. Help me to understand this. Mm-hmm. But it seems to me as if you look people when when that statement is made, making a withdrawal look, seems to be a negative thing. Mm-hmm. But if you look at it from another aspect, as long as you don't leave me in the raid in my bank account, that's just no, a joke. but that's just... on <laughs> but that's on you. I know that's just a joke. So if, <laughs> if somebody's come to make a, a, a withdrawal, time is shooting, yeah, no. If somebody has come to make a withdrawal, Mm -hmm. that's a good thing Mm -hmm. because it speaks of how much is in your account. Mm -hmm. Because if you're full, 
if you're full and overflowing, you, you want someone to get a, a withdrawal because mm -hmm. if, because this is what what God is because everything every gift every the anointing that He places in our life is not just for us. It's not for us. It's more so for people. Other people. Yeah. So He blesses us to be able to bless someone else. So mm -hmm. if our accounts are full and overflowing, we should somebody. If we're not given, mm -hmm. then some people should be coming to our lives to make a withdrawal. Because and again, because of, because you're full. Because mm -hmm. what else are you? What are you going to do with it? Mm -hmm. You we can't just we're not meant to just sit on it on on the blessings that God gives to us. So if they're coming to make a withdrawal, to me that's a positive thing because it speaks of how full how full um of the word, how full of a of the blessings, um, and it speaks of how you have um how you have managed what God has what placed God has in you, to you, how you have steward what God has given to you so that people can come. Look, people should be lined up at your, at your, your, your ATM machine. Mm -hmm. They should be lined up to, they should be lined up to come and receive what God has given you. So, so the, for the first time, I thank God that he's showing me that that is a good thing. It's not a negative thing when mm -mm. people come for a withdrawal. Now you can you can look at it like you said on the negative and the positive, because you 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 will have um, the partners, the pirates, and um, the partners, the pirate, and the parasite. Those partners come to partner with you. The pirate comes to spy on you. The parasite comes to suck the life out of you. So we can look at it on both terms, the good and the bad. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? We got to look at it on both sides. So the thing about it is that, and this is where we still, as an individual, we got to know when to pull, like old song Kenny Rogers said, you got to know when to pull, uh, you, you got to know when to hold. So you got to know mm -hmm. when to pull out, you got to know when to hold on. So, you know, we're, we're thankful in either side. It's a blessing either way it goes. Mm -hmm. And that's that's the blessing because when God give it to you, we're, we're just thankful and, and grateful. How um, you know the thing about it is that here it is. We have to do what God has called us to do. Amen. So, if someone's coming to make a withdrawal, it is up again. It speaks of how we're stewarding mm -hmm. and managing and guarding what God has placed over our lives. Yes. So if someone comes to us to make a withdrawal, we need to be able to recognize. Amen. You better. <laughs> who this is and what they're there for. And, yes. <laughs> um, mm -hmm. And like, for instance, if someone comes to that, because I picture this ATM machine, mm -hmm. someone comes to this ATM machine, they put their card in there. Um, look, and that machine says, there's not enough money in this Insufficient account. Insufficient fund. Right. <laughs> or you don't have enough. You're trying to take out more than what you're. Yeah. Than what you put in. Mm -hmm. So if they're coming to try to uh, receive from Power you school. or trying to get something from you, it is up to us to to be able to discern. Yes. Through the Holy Spirit. Amen. Who this is and whether they look, we need to say, no, you ain't ready. for Yes, this. dear. That's it. <laughs> you're not ready for that's this. That's true. <laughs> so this is where we are to like when it comes to us speaking we can't be throwing um pearls to, pearls the, swine. to the swine there you go you're in the book so Amen. we need to be able to recognize through the discernment mm -hmm. through the holy spirit yes who this person is yes what they're there for and it's up to us to mm -hmm. walk in obedience Amen. by listening Amen. and hearing Amen. what god is saying who this person is Amen. now Come on. Do we want to give to, are we trying to give something to somebody? See, we're trying to put people in places and in position and give to them something that they're not, that um, put them in a place because they may look good mm -hmm. or because we know that they'll give, they'll, be, they'll, they'll be given unto this ministry um, or unto our church mm -hmm. helping us to look good. So it's twofold. Are we trying to do this? To help someone, or are we trying to do this to help ourselves? Wow, wow, my God! I, I, and I'm, I'm, I'm just thankful and grateful, and 
you know, um, even when you look at that, you know, um, it just, we, we have to um, keep, and you said it, being obedient to God, obeying, like I said, Genesis is the book of, um, you know, um, birthing and, and just, you know, part of it is just where when he spoke to Abraham, how Abraham took heed and um, took Lot with him. But the thing about it is that here it is. And that, and that's such a a powerful thing where Lot got blessed by just hanging around Abraham. Ain't that something? So what are you saying? Sometimes we can get blessed by just hanging around and holding on, not just holding on, but just being obedient and hanging around others. But we got to be obedient. Amen. Blessed through association. Oh my God. Say that again. Blessed. Tell the viewers. <laughs> <laughs> blessed by association. Uh, blessed through association. That's partners so. there. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> wow. That's that's a blessing, you know. But on these last couple of minutes, we're not going to hold you. But we just wanted to this, you know, come back and just thank once again. Thank each and every one of you all for the word, with the word of God. And um, we're, we're just grateful and thankful um, for God and for his people. Um, and, and, and like I said, this is where, you know, we, we want to continue to share the word of God and the gospel, which is the good news of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, because in these, um, times like we're, we're living in and, and things, what's going on in the world with, um, you know, not just social media, but Hey, how many, you know, you don't even have to turn the news on to have the crazy stuff. You get it on your phone. I mean, what's amazing to me is, um, but the good news of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, we're going to continue to be and stay committed to God and to God's word. Amen. So we once again, we thank God for you all joining us for after church. And we pray that all is well with you, your family, and knowing that we are praying for you each and every day. And we want you to continue to keep lifting up the John 12 and 32. I'm reminded of John 12 and 32. The Bible says in John 12 and 32, Jesus said these words of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. It said, and if I, he always say if, because he know everybody ain't going to do it. You know, if I be lifted up, everybody ain't going to lift him up. He said, I will draw what? All men unto me. Amen. And even in, in, in another scripture, it, it says in um, Isaiah 1 and 19, where I talked about earlier, if ye be willing. You know what I'm saying? So the thing about it, what I love about it is that one thing about the Holy Spirit, he's not going to just bombard or impose himself on you. It's there for us if we want it. Amen. Hallelujah. You know, when I hear those scriptures, when it starts with if, if. <laughs> um, it's to me, for me, it speaks of not just that, that God knows mm -hmm. that everybody's not going to accept it, but for me, it speaks of reminding me that I have to do my part. Mm -hmm. Amen. That it, it's not just going to... Yeah, the promises are there in the word mm -hmm. just when we accept Jesus Christ. Because things, things are already in place. Things are already done. Mm -hmm. um, for instance, with grace, there's nothing that we can do to earn grace. Mm -hmm. God gives us grace because he loves us. And because of who he is, mm -hmm. this is who he is. This is his, this is his very character, the very being or the very, um, fabric. I can, if I can say that of his being mm -hmm. of who he is, grace is just who he is. There's nothing that we can do of our own to earn grace. Wow. It is a, is a, it's God given, but, or I should say, and, Along with that, when mm -hmm. when we accept him as our Lord and Savior, we have to work out our own soul salvation. Yes, ma'am. Now, th there are things that 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 come in the, that comes along with God. You know, when you're when you choose to live a certain way, you choose him as your Lord and Savior. You're going to have to do your part. Mm -hmm. You do your own part, and this is this is a very part of life. Mm -hmm. um, look, if you want to um, 
if you want to grow in the knowledge and the word of God, if you want to know him in a better way, well, if you want to know him and if you want to learn of him, you have to take time. It doesn't Amen. just, it's not going to just come out of, from happenstance. It doesn't just come because you are a child of God, that you accepted him as your Lord Spend and Savior. Time. It comes from spending, if you want to, if you want to know him, yes. you have to do your part. Mm -hmm. You have, you, it's a relationship. The re a relationship of knowing him and, and, and learning of him doesn't come just from, um, just by you saying, I'm, I'm his child. It doesn't just happen like that. Mm -hmm. A relationship, uh, for instance, with my husband, it doesn't just happen just because I say, look, he's not my husband just because I say he's my husband. He's my husband. He, I'm, I'm his wife because we, um, we exchange vows before, um, before people. We did our part and um, mm -hmm. we had to come to know each other. We had to spend time with each other. Um, you better believe it. <laughs> you know that. And, and spending time <laughs> with each other is just sitting down, talking to Amen. each other. As we're eating, as we're drinking, having a cup of coffee, having a cup of tea, mm -hmm. sitting down um, when there's a, when he has a break, we, I may go and pick him up and we go out for lunch or he may stop by the office mm -hmm. when I was working on a nine to five, he would stop by and we would, we would go and spend time with each other so that we can get to know each other. It doesn't just happen just because I say he's my husband, just because I say it, it doesn't happen. <coughs> but we had to begin to communicate with each other, Yes. learn of each other. Um, and even though we've been married, what, 26 years now, we're still getting to know. No. 26? Thank you. Oh, 27. Excuse me. <laughs> 27 years. Just had an anniversary, y'all. Yes. <laughs> Listen to them grandkids. So, <laughs> Running you rapid. <laughs> yeah, it's still, you know, even with, you know, even though we've been married for 27 years, we're still getting to know each other. We're still getting to see other sides. Yes. Wouldn't you say that? Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> We're learning more of each other every day. So, I mean, and again, when, when I see the scriptures, when I see if in it, that, 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 um, throws up a flag for me, not a red flag, but it brings up a flag for me. Mm -hmm. This is something that I need to flag because when I see if this tells me that there's something that I need to do as well, too. I know God's going to do his part, but I have mm -hmm. to do my part as well. Amen. Amen. So we thank God for his grace and his mercy. And on that, we'll close. But um, one of the things is um, when you said um, fabricated, when you think about grace is, you know, Jesus, you know, how grace was just cut out, especially for you, Jesus Christ. Amen. G and Jesus Christ is grace. And, you know, we pray that all is uh, well and you've been blessed by this. And not only just the after church, but we thank God for his mercy we thank god most of all for the holy spirit we thank god for his son jesus amen. amen so we want you to continue to be safe stay safe and 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 trust god amen yes and um we're praying for you as always um but please do your part um because of God's the season well that praying, amen. this season that we're in please do your part in wearing your mask um practicing your social distancing and washing your hands as often as you can. Um, if you're not, if you're not able to wash them, those hands, keep your hand sanitizers close by. Um, everyone knows I travel with my hand sanitizer wherever we go. Uh, I keep it close by, but just making sure that you're doing your part. And, um, and now we see where the CDC has just, um, come up with, or they didn't come up with it, I guess, because of their studies and what they're realizing. Um, if you're not in the same household, if you don't live in the same household with, you know, with the person that you're visiting with, wear your mask. Please wear your mask so that we can um, get through this as um, best as we can and get through it safely and, um, and prayerfully with very little loss. Um, 
from these days moving forward because Lord knows this has been a lot. Um, there's been a lot of loss. But this is why it's so important for us to make sure that we have that relationship with Jesus Christ, that we may have eternal life. Amen. So. Amen. God bless you all and enjoy your day. Um, the Lord should tell is coming. We pray that all is well. See you back for Wednesday midweek empowerment mm -hmm. for Bible study at 7 p.m. Oh, my God. We're out of time, but never out of messages. Amen. We love you all and stay safe. Amen. Yes. God bless you.